actually gave me transitions because my lifestyle, I'm so I'm always around, running around, playing golf and doing this stuff, and he thought they'd be great for me, and, and we partnered up, and I, I'm just really proud that that to be just you, you guys know me and you know that when I when I try to help charities it's all about kids and it's all about trying to help kids and the way these the way we're trying to just let people know how important it is to go and get your eyes checked and all that stuff we're doing but the thing that I really love is what we're doing with the kids it is you know when he tells you that they went into the eye clinic and walked out with their glasses they really they didn't have to wait. They really went in there, got their eyes checked, and a guy made their glasses while they sat there and waited, and they walked out with that. And for me, all with all the charity stuff that I do, I, th I still think that's one of the coolest things. I know because kids don't think about seeing. You know, they just go into school and they try to, to, to squint and see a little better. And, and, the, and especially the kids that we saw at W.O. Smith. You know, I was talking to a bunch of those kids that got the glasses, and I couldn't believe how happy they were and how just you know everybody had their new pair of glasses and one like cheap glasses they had like calvin klein frames and, and all this stuff and i was like man our glasses are nicer than mine but um it's just I, i'm honored to be partnered with with transitions to do that because you know they're coming down to help me with homegrown this is which is something that hootie's done for years and and i'm just really honored and, and glad to be a part of this because once again i get to help kids and i get to be partnered with a great company thanks man Yes. To, let, me, let me put it to you. So that was pretty good. That was almost as good as the True Believers line. But um, that would be the understatement of the year to say I'm happy with it. I mean, I, I, I started that as my, my, my transition to country was started as a labor of love. That was just something I wanted to do for myself. And I happened to have a great manager who got me a record deal because I still say to this day that I wouldn't have given me a record deal. And... I, I, I couldn't be happier. Everything's great. I got three number ones. I got six number one singles. I got, I'm a member of the Grand Ole Opry. You know, I mean, let, can be any better than that. Joyce, last question. Uh, curious, it's good to see you here. You've made some references on Twitter that maybe you wouldn't be part of CMA Music Fest this year. Are you performing tonight? Well, you know, we'll see. <laughs> I might be. I might not be. We'll see. You know, I'm... I've been here all week. This is a great week to be. This is one of the weeks that makes you proud to be in country music because I say all the time that there's not another genre of music that could do this. No one could put this show together. You know, I mean, I mean, it's one of those things where managers wouldn't let this happen. My guy's not going to play before this guy and whatever. And, you know, this is just a bunch of great bands getting together and doing it. So, you know, I might be. <laughs>